What's the word, y'all? The most inevitable trade in the history of basketball, if it was like, just happened. For about a month, we felt like Karis LeVert was going to get traded to the Cavaliers, and it finally happened. Let me read you the package. Full trade. Any other Pacers since Karis LeVert and a 2022 second round pick via Miami to Cleveland for Ricky Rubio, Lottery Protect, the 2022 first round pick, a 2022 second round pick via Houston, and a 2020 second seven round pick via Utah. Boom. Woads bomb. Second nice nice trade of the week. We love to see it. We get it closer and closer to the trade deadline. And I, I don't know if this is going to be consensus, but I kind of like this deal for both sides. I've been seeing a lot of people say, that, oh, the Pacers got finesse, and I don't really think that is true. I remember I was in... Um I was in a business class my freshman year of college, one of my first semesters in college. And, and my business teacher named Mr. James, he used to say this very often, the market sets the price, right? The market sets the price. And what we saw a few days ago with the Norman Powell trade, the price for this level player ain't as crazy as you think it might be. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can argue who's better between Karras or Norm, but they're the same tier of player. You know what I'm saying? Norm might be a little bit better, but they're the same tier of player. We're talking about a wing player that can dribble a little bit, they can hit some shots, they can create from They're the same caliber of player. This trade is very similar to that, but the reason we don't like the Port or I don't like the Portland Trailblazer deal is what the direction of their organization when they still have Dame and they still got this, and we'll have to reevaluate that trade in a little bit to see basically what they do the rest of the deadline. But the reason I like this for the Indiana Pacers is because this might be showing that they really about to do this thing. Now, maybe not. Because Karis Avert just felt like an inevitable trade. Now, the real direction is when they trace bonus or they trade Miles Turner. We'll see about that. So the Blazers traded Norman Powell and Robert Covington again. And they got back Keon Johnson, some salary fill filler, and some seconds. Well, Keon Johnson is practically a first-round pick. Bro ain't really played this season. He used the 21st overall pick just last year. This is a similar deal, but the only difference is the Indiana Pacers, they get to select their pick that they want. You know what I'm saying? We talk about a, a pick that's outside the lottery because the Cavs are a lock to make a playoff team. But the reason why this puts it a little bit over the top is they get that second round pick via Houston. And Houston's one of the worst teams in basketball. So we're talking like the 33rd overall pick in the draft. So they're going to have like somewhere between 20 to 30 and then 23 or so, 30, uh, 33 or something. That's pretty solid. And then if you look at their history, just last year, they packaged in a pick similar to this. Yes, okay. I had to Google it before I even said this. So they did something similar in the Russell Westbrook trade. I don't know if y'all remember, the Indiana Pacers were involved and they sent Aaron Holiday to the Washington Wizards with a, a, a second round pick and got the pick that turned into Isaiah Jackson. So I'm not saying they're going to do that again, but just having extra seconds in your pocket can help you get up to another first round pick and they might be able to do that. And again, for a team that's been suffering, I've been wanting the Indiana Pacers to hit that reset button for the organization's sake and get rid of Karis LeVert helps them lose more games because I just watched that man firsthand almost get a Bulls 50 the other night. He's actually really nice. Now, for the Cavaliers, I just absolutely love it. Again, it was between him and Eric Gordon, and maybe the price for Eric Gordon is a little bit too much, or maybe they like the size of Karis LeVert more than they like the size of Eric Gordon because that's what the Cavaliers are. They seven-footers, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but. We got Darius Garland, Karis LeVert, um, uh, Laurie Market and Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. That is a really good playoff start at five. And off the bench, they have one of the six man of year candidates of Kevin Love. And this video would have been out earlier, right? I wasn't home when the, when the trade broke, but it would have been out earlier because these two teams are playing against each other right now. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I I'm just, I'm going to wait to see if they talk about it on the broadcast. What are their opinions from these two organizations? Nobody even really talked about it on the broadcast. So I just wasted, uh, this video could have been out 40 minutes ago. They wasted my time. And Karis LeVert seems like he's super excited about this one, according to Woj, because he's from Columbus, Ohio. And I, I I think bro just wants to play for a good team. And now he gets to do that. You know what I'm saying? As that combo. Because the Cavaliers over the last couple weeks, they've been able to get people like Brandon Goodwin out of nowhere to give them quality minutes as a as a guy that can dribble the ball. But other than that, it's been a lot of Darius Garland. Though Darius Garland is an all-star, you just want a secondary option. You like when Kyle Sexton was there, they held the like dual ball handler responsibilities. Ricky Rubio is one of the best players for their team this season because they held the dual ball handling responsibilities and now Karis LeVert can help that because he is a combo guard that can play make a little bit that that can spot up if you need him to it's a bit wishy-washy but can spot up if you need him to and he's a bucket they call bro baby Durant in college he's a bucket um and now that I'm thinking about it they might not be talking about it like for sure for sure on the broadcast because I'm I'm sure he probably has to clear another physical just like when he got traded to Indiana in the first place so that might be the reason why I mean they mentioned it I'm not saying that they just went completely in the dark but they ain't talking about it too much he, he's gonna clear physical um hopefully you know this time around it's a little bit better than the last time around and I just really like this pickup for them hey bro that's the, the central NBA central division the NBA Central Division is ridiculous, dog. The Bulls, who just lost a couple minutes ago, so now they're the second seed in the East. They got the third seed in the Bucks, 
and then a fifth seed in the Cavaliers. That's kind of wild. But I guess I guess the Atlantic Division got four playoff teams. Either way, we, we got three out of the top five seeds in this division. It's kind of crazy. The Midwest basketball is, is right here. You feel me? And Karis Avert is up for an extension coming up this offseason. We'll see how this season plays out. And, and they'll decide whether or not he's going to be worth, you know, extending him even longer. But again, one of those trades where if I had to grade it on the surface level, I like it for both teams. Let's, let's, let's go based on, I mean, based on the assets the Cavaliers had to give, I was a little bit afraid that they were going to trade Kyle Sexton just because they couldn't come to an agreement this offseason. And with him being injured, I just didn't know if they'd come to a right number. Um, so I was afraid that they'd throw him in a trade one way or another, and they didn't. So Sexton is still alive. They gave up an injured player who was a big part of the team. Don't get me wrong. They gave up an injured player and a first-round pick that they don't really need because their team is already super young. You don't need a guy that was drafted in the 20s to come to the rotation. So I really like this for them. And then for the Indiana Pacers, they just get draft capital. And if they draft right, you know, this could be a huge W. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this trade. And hopefully we get more coming up because I like doing these quick hitters.